Right, this is uh, Brands Hatch. It's the uh, Hot Tracks meeting at the beginning of September, and uh, I'm here racing my BMW S1000 RR. But also this weekend, I'm going to be racing Paul Berriman's Suzuki GSXR 750S Rad in the Modern Classics race. So I'm going to be qualifying, practicing, and racing on both bikes, jumping from one to the other. It's kind of uh, uh, two super bikes separated by generation. One has got loads and loads of power, electronics, big fat sticky slicks uh, and the other one is a super bike of days gone old with probably 135 horsepower or something like that but I reckon here at Brands the times probably won't be that too far different so I'm uh, looking forward to the challenge Despite being a bit of a beastie, jumping on my BMW is like being at home. After three seasons of racing it, I know what it's going to do, even though it takes me a few sessions to get used to its immense speed again after time away. But it stops and turns brilliantly, and the throttle is nice and smooth, despite having 195 bhp at the rear wheel. And the grip and predictability from the Dunlop slicks is just incredible. Rain during Friday practice on both bikes and the wet qualifying means I don't get as much time on the bike as I like. I also skip race day's first wet race as I'm only doing this meeting for fun, not a championship. I don't really want to risk crashing it and giving the bike back to Park Lane in a box. But for the 15 lap race I managed to win, but a partially damp track means my best lap time is only at 49.2 on the Indy track, around a second and a bit off my best on this bike. Again a lack of dry track time hampers setup and time to get used to Paul Berriman's 1998 Suzuki GSXR 750 S Rad, his pride and joy. Paul won last time out on the bike at Donington so it's a good one. It has 132 bhp, the GSXR 1000k5 front end, a 1000k1 swing arm, Dimag wheels and lots of other nice go faster bits. But we spend a little bit of time getting the suspension dialed in for me and getting the balance of the bike and the gearing right for Brands Hatch's unique undulating track layout. Starting from the second row of the grid, in amongst loads of old school 754 and 1000cc twin super bikes and a few GSX-R1000s and ZX-10s, we managed to take the old girl to a win with a best time of 50.8 on Apache track. So despite Paul's SRAD giving away 60 odd BHP to the Beamer, both bikes lap within 1.6 seconds of each other. Obviously a bigger track would stretch that as with better conditions, but it's still an eye opener. I love riding 750s and screaming the GSX-R 750 around brands is a spine tingling experience. Fitted with Dunlop Entex slicks, it's really overtired. There's more grip than power and it turns the track into treacle so it's just a case of pushing harder through the corners and carrying more and more corner speed but still being mindful that I'm on someone else's pride and joy. Unless you strive to race for a living, it's got to be fun. It costs enough time and money, which is why we chose to do this Hot Tracks meeting at Brands. It's my local track, so I get to see all my mates, and we share the garage with my brother and Steve Mercer on their team traction control Suzuki GSX-R 1000s, who are racing in the ACU National Endurance Championship. They won their race too, so it was the perfect day and a great way to round off an up and down season for me.